so on that note, if any of you who watch this have properties in the Bahamas and you think at any point in the future you're going to be selling those properties, what I would do is contact a lawyer and say, this is what I have. What do I, am I missing? What do I need? So that by the time you do get to go to sell the property, you know, put it on the market, that uh, you already have all the needed documents. Uh, even if the man has a briefcase full of uh, money to pay you. Uh, because otherwise, you're going to go through this whole nonsense of regulations and rules. And it's one of the reasons, besides their taxation, that I think the Bahamas is going to shoot themselves in not only one foot, but both feet. Uh, their rules and regulations are ridiculous. The buying part is fine. They're happy as a clam as long as the money's coming in. They got rules and regulations about any money that comes in leaving again. Ooh, we don't like that at all. So piece of advice, if you have a property, you think someday you're going to sell it, get it all lined up, what you need, all the paperwork before you actually need to sell it. Save yourself a little headache. In the usual fashion, I'm headed back to Vermont with the truck. And so I just contacted the lady with the uh, fifth wheel. And she wants to meet after 3 o'clock on uh, Wednesday, which is absolutely great, wonderful. Now if I could potentially find somebody to uh, drive out there with me with the fifth wheel, that would take care of that whole operation. Pay her, get the title, bring it back, done, thank you. Highly unlikely. Um, the let's see. Uh, the panels for the house are going to be delivered Wednesday, so I just wrote to him and said, "Anyway, you can make that first thing in the morning, because I've got to be at the other side of the state in the afternoon. And can you put them on pallets? Because I have a tractor with forks. As long as you don't load the pallets too heavy, we should be fine." So we'll see if that, and then I heard from uh, lawyers, uh, there's no, I don't know what we're going to do on that, because we don't have any receipt. I don't know if the bank keeps records 15 years back about transactions. I really don't know. So I got to talk to Sid about that and see if she can contact the bank and see if they have anything in that regard, to me, it's the stupidest thing. It's, you know, their rules, regulations, I don't know who thinks up these things, but they obviously have more free time than brains. So, anyway, we're headed back. phone call from the uh, uh, SIPS panels and those aren't coming Wednesday they're gonna come because they had a scheduling conflict so they're gonna come on Thursday morning he's gonna put like six or seven to a lift so I should be able to lift them off with the forklift which I'm sure Sid will love to hear because they're about a hundred pounds a piece so that's taken care of and Hopefully everything works out with the trailer. I'd still like to find somebody to go with on Wednesday because that would be wonderful if I could go Wednesday afternoon, pick the trailer up, come back with it. That one's done. Thursday morning the panels are done. And then I'll try to set up picking up the plow for uh, Thursday afternoon. And I'll have three pieces done. Won't have any house sold. I don't even know how that's going to go because Sid contacted the bank and as I told the lawyer uh, in the US you generally keep records for seven years and it's been 15 so there's no record of that wire transfer or any money exchange or any of that kind of stuff so I really don't know how this is gonna go and it is like I said it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of you expect people to keep uh, 
a wire transfer thing or that receipt for 20, 30, 40 years, eternity. That's just ridiculous. But then it's the Bahamas. Looks like they got a lot of this road done today, uh, but I won't be coming through here tomorrow, so it doesn't really matter much. Well, it will the next time I come through. It's nice and smooth. there I just stopped and picked up some yogurt and while I'm there I get an email from another lawyer on a piece of property and they okay this has been five six months uh, they're looking for all of a sudden the deed that goes back to the deed that goes back to the deed that goes back to and it's like I don't have it I have the one that was given to me so they're going to have to contact the lawyer before the lawyer before the lawyer. How anything gets done in the Bahamas is just, it's mind boggling. It really is. You know, when I was there day by day, it was one thing. You sort of lived in it and <sighs> was it. But when you're out of there, oh my God, it's a wonder the country has any money or any business or anything. If this is how they do everything business-wise down there because, like I said, months and months and months. We actually know some people who sold their house, I think it was last June or July. No, it was July. They put it on the market, went under contract. It was the following June before it uh, actually closed with all the nonsense that goes on. I couldn't take that. Uh, I can't take that. I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe, no, I don't want to say that thing. <laughs> but, almost there. I'll deal with a few more things. And hopefully these people can get their acts together and uh, do something. Because this is just ridiculous. <laughs> 